I think I'm gonna have the. We're staying in Overland, Overland tonight. We are. Yes, we are. We're in room 21. Oh, okay. <laughs> Did you see all the paranormal people? <laughs> they the told us we came last night. Did you? And she okay. said, uh, "We got what? a big group coming in from Vegas that's paranormal." Uh, and I'm like, I'm sorry. "Okay, I'm not <laughs> going in those rooms." <laughs> are they abnormal or paranormal? <laughs> <laughs> So Alan and I made about the three hour drive up to Pioche, Nevada to check out the Overland Saloon and Boot Hill Cemetery. As you may know, the Overland Saloon is reportedly haunted as well as Boot Hill Cemetery. And the Ghost Adventures crew has actually done an investigation here of the Overland Saloon and of Boot Hill Cemetery. So once we got there, Alan and I went ahead and uh, checked into our rooms. Alan was staying in room 14 and I stayed in room 23. And I'll be honest, just walking down the hall in this place is sometimes a little creepy. But check out our other videos that we've posted on Pioch and the live stream. Welcome to the Bear Den. Pretty cool. Tina probably thinks that I'm like an old grizzly bear sometimes. So, uh, this room is fitting. <laughs> so, but anyway, it is pretty cool. Uh, nicely appointed room. So, let's check it out just real quick. You've got the uh, little sitting there area where I've got my gear. A little bear on the wall. That's nice. No real bears were hurt in the making of that animal head. So after checking out the room, Alan and I met down at the Overland Saloon so we could have a beer before we headed up to Boot Hill Cemetery. You guys want something to drink? I do, a Coors. Yeah, I got buddies in it. Guys, as you know, uh, I don't drink a lot of beer because it makes me feel bloated. But when I do, I always drink a Coors. And it seems like the last time I had a beer was either in Tombstone or, which was most likely, or at the Overland Saloon or one of these saloons out here in Nevada. So uh, I don't know if that makes me validate my cowboy hat or not, but cheers to the banquet beer. All right, so as you can see, me and Alan are here. Uh, we've saddled up to the bar. 
at the Overland Saloon. It's good. That beer is actually pretty good. It is. I'm thirsty. <laughs> Me too. So, and I'm also worn out from climbing up the top of that mountain. It's a mountain in my mind. You might, you might think it's a hill, but it is a mountain to me. I cheated. I used a drone to get up there. <laughs> he did. <laughs> and I wasn't nearly as tired as Walt. <laughs> I'd have rode that drone if I could have. <laughs> so Alan and I finished up our beers and we went down and checked out Boot Hill Cemetery. Hey guys, so Alan and I are back at Boot Hill Cemetery and... Uh, I've been here a couple times, done a, done a couple of videos, but this place never gets old. And uh, every time I come, I learn something new, something interesting about Pioch. So awesome, awesome place. And we're gonna do a nighttime investigation tonight as well. And uh, so here's the cemetery right here. And one thing that's interesting is you can see that this section from this fence to that fence is separate from the other cemetery. What they did was they buried the incorrigible, the murderers, those kind of guys. They buried them right here on this section of the cemetery as opposed to putting them with everybody else. So, and I know I've re re told you about this in other videos, but if you hadn't watched it, the, th the thing to remember is that 72 people died of murder, violent deaths, before one person in Pioch died of natural causes. Think about that. 72 murders before one natural death. And that's because this was a mining town. This town was deadlier than Tombstone. There were more murders in this time that the mine was going on than any other place in history. Make sure you check out the other videos that Alan and I have posted on P.O. And so we decided to head over to the Silver Cafe. Check out this place. Really good food. Actually, there's, there's a picture you can see Alan's serious because he bites his uh, uh, lip like know. that. <laughs> <laughs> Looks kind of like, uh, what do you call those dogs that do? <laughs> With the yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he is serious worker. I am. Yes, you do. This is a major sandwich, so it's well worth the wait. Uh, it's called the El Diablo, and I can't wait to try this. It looks really, really good. Look at that. Thing. Here we go. I think I'm going to have the. Yes, we are. We're in room 21. Okay. <laughs> Did you see all the paranormal people? They the told us, we came last night, Did you? and she said, uh, we got a big group coming in from Vegas that's paranormal, uh, and I'm like, I'm okay, I'm not going in those rooms. <laughs> Are they abnormal or paranormal? <laughs> yeah. Okay, now you can. That's right. I think it's it. cool. But look at, look at this burger, and I'm going to, I'm going to try to get a bite. I don't know how I'm going to do it. Mm. Mm. Wow. Good? No. I didn't get a whole lot of the beef because it's such a big bite, but the veggies are fresh. What I did get of the beef is good. Um, I'm going to see if I can get some more of the beef on here with the with the heat. Mm. Wow. Now, 
I don't know if I'd drive three hours from Vegas to just have this burger. It's really, really good. You might have the burger, stay at the Overland, see some ghosts, see the cemetery. That's what Alan and I are doing. It's good. Uh, and also, the fries are fresh and shoestring fries. They're really good. We waited a while, but you know what? It's it's made fresh, and that's why it takes a while. And uh, the burger is really good, and the jalapenos and all the peppers and everything's perfect. And these fries are outstanding. That's a big burger. It is. Alan brings up a good point. This is our first real meal of the day. I think we, I got some nuts. What'd you get, Alan? He ate some nuts too, so. Um, that was about it all day. We've been filming a lot of footage today. And when you get focused like that, sometimes you just, I just happened to be, we were in the Overland Saloon. I said, we need to eat. So we're eating. It is good. Very good. Look at this. Get out of the yeah, you're fine. Look at this sandwich. That's a rude one. You want me to take a peek underneath that? So there's the sauerkraut and the pastrami. All right. And Thousand Island. Okay. So let's see. So there's. Oops. So here's my Reuben. You can see the pastrami is got a nice little sear on it. Enough sauerkraut, Swiss cheese, and a thousand eyes on toasted rye. Let's see how this is. Mm. It's really good. Alan and I had a full day after we ate at the Silver Cafe. We then walked around town as the sun was starting to set. We went up to the room. We did a live stream, and that's been posted. And then we went to Boot Hill Cemetery at night, and that video has been posted as well. We did catch some sounds while editing, which uh, kind of creeped me out because I didn't hear that during that night so check out that video as well switched I had long pants on I'm like man it's gonna be 80 degrees so I switched to shorts uh, no way I can gap and I don't feel like crawling today so